Hey guys, it's Ray. Today we're going to be baking something for Valentine's Day. For this, I'm going to be using my G Plus Black Queen bags. I do have the review on this one. I use them all the time and I love them. And I'm going to be using as well my icing bag ties. I just got them from Hobby Lobby and I love them. So for this real icing decorations, I'm going to start with the base. The base is a heart. I really am not good at drawing hearts and the best thing that I know of drawing hearts just by folding a piece of paper in half and then drawing the heart and then just cutting what you draw and once you open it you have a heart so i'm going to start by placing what i cut it under a piece of wax paper or parchment paper and i'm going to add some pieces of tape so it doesn't move while i'm working first i'm going to start with some pink realizing i do have the recipe for this realizing i just added some gel food coloring and then I'm just going to be using my scribe tool to um, smooth my heart and make sure it remove all the air bubbles and stuff like that. And that's kind of like the base. And from this, you can go ahead and make a lot of designs as we're going to be doing. For example, this one is going to be like a 2D design. And I'm just going to go with my plain realizing. I'm just going to add this and I'm going to go with my uh, scribe tool. And just before my purple dress, I'm just going to work on that. So that's one design. Then there's going to be like polka dots and for it to blend you just have to add some white or plain realizing dots on top of the pink realizing. So that's another design. Then for the sprinkles design we're going to be using a plate. I'm using a plate because this is going to get messy most likely but I'm going to just tape a piece of wax paper or parchment paper on that plate using my tape and then I'm just going to draw the heart as I did before and then add the sprinkles just before it dries. And you can pretty much let it dry like that there, but since I was going to be making a lot more of this, I just removed my piece of paper with some tweezers and then just removed the sprinkles and I let it dry. And that's another design. For this design, I'm going to go with some white plain realizing and then I'm going to add some red stripes and in the middle of those I'm just going to go with some pink realizing then with my scribe tool I'm going to kind of drag it from top to bottom and then the next one from the bottom to top and so on and so forth until you have this other design and then for this plain ones I'm just going to go with some realizing and my deepless piping bags and I'm just going to write some words in this case love you can write anything you want this is going to be different. I'm just going to write the word love on this like font. And yeah, I'm just going to be making a bunch of them because if I make any mistakes or in case some of them break or things like that, you can make it in any font. Just make sure each uh, letter touches the other one so it dries as one. Don't make them too small or too thin because they do tend to break. But yeah, we're just going to um, wait for those letters to dry. And if you make a mistake, you just have to remove your mistake with a toothpick just before it dries. And then add the missing part that you, uh, as you want it to be. And once they are dry, we're just going to be peeling them off from the wax paper. Be really gentle and be really careful because they do tend to break. I broke like five while I was doing this. And don't make them super thin because the thinner they are, the most likely they are going to break. So just keep that in mind. And once they are done, you're just going to add it in this heart. I'm just going to go and make another heart, but I'm not going to fill the whole thing. I'm just going to um, go like kind of like in the edges. And then before it dries, I'm just going to place my word in the middle in there. I'm just going to let the whole thing dry. And yeah, I'm just going to be doing this one pretty simple, just like the heart that we did before, but with some dots going all the way around it. And yeah, once all of them are dry, it's going to be the same method to just peel them from the wax paper. Be real careful, be really gentle because they do tend to break. I broke a few as I mentioned before. The more icing you add, the less of a chance you have from breaking them and always make more than what you actually think you need. And that's it for the decorations themselves. Now we're going to be decorating the cupcakes. I'm working with some chocolate start with cupcakes and some whipped cream. Yeah, I'm just going to pipe my frosting on top of my cupcake and then I'm just going to place my toppers or uh, realizing decorations. If you hear rain, it's because it's raining outside, so sorry about that. I really like them, I really do. Hopefully you like them too. One thing that I would change for next time, I would just make them a bit smaller if I want to place them in there. This size I think would look better actually if they were on like the top of the cupcake and in the center. But you know, I was not sure 
which size I wanted to go for. But yeah, I just wanted to share this idea. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment as well. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. Check out my blog. It's going to be linked below. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye guys.